Now we've gotten the material usage down, way down on this part by doing a shell command, but we're, we're going to put some, some screws through these corners. So we want to reinforce these corners. Let's sketch on this bottom face here. Let's start a new sketch on this bottom face. And then place some circles at each of the corners. And we don't have to be a we don't have to be exact here. Now I want you to do a green window select and that's holding down the left mouse button and going from right to left. That's going to select all of your circles. With all four of them circled, you can select the equal relation from the property manager. That sets all of the circles equal to each other. Now let's add some more relations. Go to the add relation button in the sketch tab of the command manager. Click on the right top circle and the arc that's made from the fillet of the corner. Click on equal and coal radio. You'll, you'll see that this, once we hit the green check mark, you'll see that this circle is now fully defined because it's lined up with the fillet arc and it's equal to the fillet arc. Let's do the same thing for our other circles. And on that one, I didn't really need to add the equal relation, but it's not interfering with anything, so I'll just leave it there. I'll just do co-radio from here on out, because I had forgotten that I made all of the circles equal to each other. Now they all should be fully defined. I'm going to go to the Features tab, do Extruded Boss Space, and now double click on this face here to go up to that surface. Now we'll now we'll demonstrate a new feature of the fillet of the fillet command. So if you go to fillet, we've 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 explored applying fillets to faces. And here I'll change my fillet radius so that we can all, we can actually see a preview. Change it to I believe it's 0.031 if I'm not mistaken. We've seen how we can uh, apply fillets to faces. Here I selected this top face and then this uh, top face of the base and there's a fillet applied all around. But we can also apply fillets to entire features. For example, if I go to the Feature Manager Design Tree Flyout and expand it and click on Shell, that is going to select every edge that was created by the Shell command, obviously saving me a lot of time, as we can see, because that's a lot of edges. By selecting features for a fillet, we can fill it edges a lot faster. Now I'm going to hit the green check mark to confirm this fillet and there's the end result.